Hello there, I'm meteorologist Tony Barlow checking in from the Storm Center. Wanted to give you an update on what we're looking at for a Monday. We are going to be looking at a pretty significant chance of some snow. We've had some big changes here recently, so I want to get you up to date on all that. Here's a look at the advisories. Currently, we have a winter weather advisory. Keep in mind, this video recorded as of about 6.30, so a lot of this subject to change as we go through tonight, even into tomorrow. Winter weather advisory on the counties you see here, shaded in blue, winter storm warning for the counties in red. Winter weather advisory, generally we're looking at one to three for central into western South Dakota. A little heavier mounds, maybe Aberdeen here on Mitchell, Sioux Falls, could be in that three to six inch range. The red shaded areas where we do have that winter storm warning, we're going to be looking at snow totals above six inches, likely. And the entire state will be dealing with blowing snow. Yellow shaded counties under winter storm watch. That's because we still have a few question marks. That area, the area shaded in yellow, Watertown, Brookings, up towards Sisseton, Ortonville, Marshall, Minnesota, has the threat, has the potential to see some pretty significant snowfall. So that's where we're, that's an area we're going to want to watch very, very closely. Running down things as far as um, what we're going to be looking at, I want to try to zoom this in a little bit. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but uh, let's try to run through to, as we go through tonight. So this is as of about midnight. And what we're going to be looking at, let's see if I can center that up, midnight. And as we're, what we're going to be looking at as far as snowfall, you can see snow starting to move into central western South Dakota here. As we make our way towards uh, the early morning hours, 6 a.m. tomorrow. Notice not a lot going on eastern South Dakota, although may have a little bit of drizzle. Maybe some freezing drizzle. Looks like patchy freezing drizzle. More drizzle, light rain possible in advance of this storm system. It just depends on temperatures. Wind's already starting to pick up out west. As you can see, these black lines getting packed a little bit closer together. As we continue then through your day Monday by noon, everyone should be seeing uh, some moisture, more significant, heavier snows out west. We'll likely be seeing a changeover from rain to snow across southeastern South Dakota. It's going to take longer into portions of western Minnesota and northwestern Iowa where temperatures will be a little bit warmer. Continuing then through the day on Monday, this is the big change. This is what's changed in the last six hours. This time frame, when we have what we call a trowel effect, and that's the back side of the storm. We're getting some wraparound precipitation, and it looks like some pretty heavy wraparound precipitation as we go through about 6 o'clock Monday evening. We're also, of course, still dealing with windy conditions, central South Dakota, and the wind's definitely picking up in the east as well. But this is where we could pick up some of those more significant snowfall totals. Is as we get through the dinner hour, through the overnight, Monday night into Tuesday. As we continue then, you can see by midnight, the snow still in northeastern South Dakota. Could see some heavier pockets up there as well. We'll see that snow totals map coming up. Wind still heavy, central, northeastern, eastern South Dakota. Wind starting to die off a little bit out west as we make our way into Tuesday morning. Lingering snow and blowing snow likely Tuesday morning. That Tuesday morning commute will be tricky because of the blowing snow and the snow we have on the ground. And then through the day Tuesday, winds eventually die down and we'll see things improve. I want to go back to the winter weather advisory map because I wanted to point out these advisories in eastern South Dakota likely will continue into Tuesday afternoon. That's when we'll see the snow finally end up, finally the blowing snow finally wrap up. Here's what we're thinking again as of about 6.30 on Sunday as far as snow totals. Generally 1 to 3 across most of the state, heavier totals out west. 4 to 8 inches plus expected across northeastern South Dakota. Most spots probably 4 to 5, but there could be some isolated areas, especially in some of the higher elevation areas where we see more. Sioux Falls to Aberdeen, maybe a 3 to 6 inch band here. If we see more rain, we'll likely see less snow in that area. So that's what we're going to be looking at as far as the snowfall for the day on Monday. Thank you for tuning into this video blog at Kelloland.com. Stay tuned to Kelloland TV. Tonight, after the shows get over, we'll be on a little bit late because of football, but around 10 o'clock, maybe it, I think it looks like about 10 20, 10 30, we'll be on. We'll have all the updates there, and then of course, Brian, tomorrow in the morning show, will be in at 5 a.m. and have the latest for you there as well. Thanks for tuning into this video blog. Have a wonderful Sunday, and uh, stay tuned to KellenTV, KellenTV.com for the latest on Monday.